defective products make it to the market simply because of money. It's the greed factor. There's a famous case of an automobile company who manufactured a vehicle which, in which they knew that a rear-end collision would, first of all, set the gas tank on fire, and above all, they would jam the doors so that no one could get out. A number of people throughout the United States were burned alive. The company knew it. They voted on it and decided it would be cheaper to pay these people to pay the insurance premiums on these, these vehicles than it would be to change the automobile. Now that happened maybe 20 years ago, but I can assure you, because of the actions of lawyers who handle products liability cases, that's changed. Now we've sued manufacturers all over the United States. We've sued virtually every manufacturer in Japan. We've been in hundreds of cases, motorcycles, automobiles, all kinds of machinery, press punches, press brakes, baking machinery. Bringing a product's liability suit really requires a great amount of experience and a lot of resources in order to bring home a verdict. You know, manufacturers and their manufacturers associations do not bring to the courtroom the poorest quality lawyer in the country. Usually it's a very serious battle. In a trial court, we have got to show that the manufacturer, the defendant, is at fault, and we have to show the injuries, what the future of the person is, and bring it home. There are no easy payouts.